This is the plaintiff, Tawana Leacock. She says she brought her car to the defendants for a $350 brake job. And when the car was finished, it was damaged. And he told her she owed him 800 bucks. She never authorized these additional charges. Her car's now in worse shape than it was when she brought it in. And she's here suing him for the $1,000 she's now owed to make things right. This is defendant Vinti Singh. He says the woman was given an estimate to fix her brakes and another estimate to fix her cracked grill. She agreed to the brake job, but when the plaintiff came to retrieve her car, she refused to pay the bill. Now, she's trying to pin the blame of the cracked grill on him. Come on, lady. Bottom line, he's not returning any money. He's accused of a bad brake job. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff took her car to the defendant's repair shop and says that she got gouged. The defendant says he gave her an estimate and she court. agreed to the cost. It's the case of I break for lawsuits. Thank you. Thank you. Tawana Leacock? Yes. All right, you brought your car to Metropolitan Auto Service, represented here by Mr. Singh, you're the yes. owner? Yes. In order to do what? Um, to get my brakes fixed. Okay, anything else? No. Oh, also, I asked them to do the inspection. All right. Was there any body work? No. According to you, when she brought it in, the car was damaged? Yeah, she asked me for an estimate on her bumper, and uh -huh. I gave her the price on the bumper. How and she much said she, was the estimate you gave her for the bumper? I, like, the bumper is like 120 and the labor, $375. Okay, and, she and said do you, what are you looking at? when you answered that question. I, I have the invoice. I was making notes of getting all the prices. May I see her. that? So did he give you a price on the bumper? I've never asked him for bumper work. I asked him to do the brakes, which was 350 and inspection. There was never a discussion about fixing my bumper. When was this document written? When she was giving me, when I had the car, I make of note of what I have to get done. And so before she picked up the car, you wrote yes. this? Do you have anything in writing from him? No, I've never spoken directly to him. I okay, only but do you have anything I'm writing from his shop? The only thing I got was the yeah, same thing, that. but when I went on the second, he did not provide that to me when I went to check on my car on the second. Okay, so according to her, she only authorized brake work, and then what happened? You went to pick it up, and what did they tell you? So um, I'd sent, I sent the car on the 21st of September at 11 o'clock a.m. By 2.50, which is a guy named Craig who recommended me to the shop, at 2.50, he sent me the old brakes and pictures of the new brakes. I have not received my car until the 2nd of October. I have text How message. much later was it? That was a week and a half. They were supposed to give me my okay. car back that Monday. Okay. Another week came by. I didn't get it back to that following Tuesday, which was the October Didn't you 4th. ask what is the I delay? Went, I if called. you were working on the brakes, you know, if you had the brakes done and that's all the you brought day. it for, then why didn't you just pick it up? Right. So I called the... the um, the shop, nobody answered. I text in, hello, I'm trying to find my car. Nobody's answering me. Then they'll say, oh, nobody's there for the last three days because someone is sick, someone is out the country. I'm like, well, I'm trying to call the shop. Nobody's responding. And I even threatened to file a police report. And Can I see the text? So what's going on with her car? She authorized for you guys to do a brake job. And what happened? You guys ended up doing more than what she had authorized, she says? Uh, she authorized a brake job and two stabilizer link, which I get that done for the Monday. So when I told her the brake job is done and the car is ready, and she said, oh, um, did it pass the inspection? I said, oh, I was not aware it needed inspection also. So That's you on the personally Monday. talked to her? Right, when and I then? get back. So I told her, uh, uh, she said it, the service light is on. So I said, what I could do for you, I could clear the light and then have to drive the car on the highway and see if the light gonna come back on or if you're gonna ready for the inspection. It's a process we have to do. So the light did came back on. I told her I'd try, but the light came back on. I had to check, I spent time, check the car. I end up on how to clean it out, reprogram it. Then I have to redrive the car again over and over for it to pass the inspection. So I'm happy I get the car to pass the inspection for her. So when I call her and told her this is what get done to get an inspection, she said, well, oh, no, no one tell her about additional costs. You tell her about a brake job and at $380. I said, yes, that's for the brake job. I wasn't aware of the inspection. This is how to get done to get an inspection for you. 
Uh, and then she so said, how much more did you charge her in order to do the things you had to do to get the inspection done? It's like, uh, Everything come out to be like seven hundred and four dollars, including. Right. So how much more did you charge her? So if the it's difference 380, from three three ninety her drop came out to be minus three ninety from whatever. Seven eighty minus three ninety. No, seven forty seven. Seven forty seven. So she minus was the three ninety. That means that you were charging her three hundred and fifty seven dollars to do whatever you had to do to her car in order for her to pass inspection. Right, that's included But did 30. you tell her that it was gonna cost her 300 I think from the beginning, I didn't know exactly how much it was gonna cost because I know how deep I have to go into the car to get her to pass inspection because it's not like I could just, it's not like a brake job, I let her know up front the brake job and it's gonna cost that much. When it comes to the service engine light, it can be $20, it can be $1,000, it's hard to tell. Right. So do, um, do repair shops take advantage of women? I'm gonna go to you first. Um, I've never worked in a car repair shop or been a woman, so I'm really not sure. Okay, well that's fair enough to disqualify you. What do you say? <laughs> I was gonna play ball with you, but you don't wanna play ball. What do you say? I would say definitely. I think if you walk into a repair shop, a lot of the folks that run it think that they can just take advantage of you. Do women know as much about cars as men? No, I don't know a lot about cars. And every time I go to the car repair shop, it's so expensive. Okay, this is getting really treacherous down here. Okay, so women are more passionate. Women don't know anything about cars. And you guys are from California, going inside the courtroom. You, by law, have to have yeah. a person's approval before you end up you know, charging them an additional $357. Well, once I get it all ready, I let her know, well, this is what it costs. Yeah, but they what if you tell her uh, that that cost you sixteen hundred dollars, and she's no. like sixteen hundred dollars? I don't have sixteen hundred dollars. Right. I can't pay that. Like, mm. how, you know, you're supposed to get the approval of the client mm. before you do the job. I understand you may not know no, no. how much the job is going to be, but then right. while you're going along, you know, well, you can be telling her, "Listen, it's going to cost you X. It's going to cost you Y. Do you well, want me to keep going?" You never got it, her approval for the three fifty seven. Yep. That's what made her mad. Yep. Then you go to the shop, and what happens? So. First of all, it was three. What did you think that it was going to cost you to get it to three, pass inspection? Well, three fifty was what I was told, but he said he wasn't aware. But when I took the car, I spoke to someone totally different that gave me the three fifty estimate. Yeah, the word inspection is here, right? And it says thirty seven dollars. Exactly. INSP, mm. and it says thirty seven dollars. So she thought that that. With the 350. Hold on one second. Now this is also the form that's done later. What about the form that was done? Beforehand, this is a form you signed the day you picked up the car. Yes. What did you get when you dropped off the car? Nobody has the paperwork from Should the drop off. No, no, they didn't write anything up. They just nothing leave the up. Car. Everything's under the table. No. Ah, now what you're suing for, interestingly enough, you paid him seven hundred dollars, and then according to you, you need three hundred dollars for bumper and emblem repairs. Why are you suing for seven hundred back when you yourself agree that you had agreed to pay the three ninety for the brake job? Why would you get that back? Well, because they again, I asked them for receipts. Once we were in dispute on the prices, they could not provide me. To do you have any evidence they didn't do the brake job? No, but I do have evidence that when I left, the police left the um, shop. Police? Yeah, I had. How to, did the police get involved? Well, I called them because they refused to give me my car, and I felt like they were basically jerking me for my money because they couldn't provide me with receipts or anything of the work that they did. He didn't get my approval. Um, then they said that when they were driving, because I, I took pictures, I noticed that my car bumper was a little off. And then the front of my symbol in front of the car was cracked off. When I spoke well, to one of the workers- He says that's how you brought the car. And that that's you're just true. angry about the extra charge not, and that you're making that up in order to recoup your money. No. It's so simple. Show me a picture of your car looking good. Not I afterwards. A, I have a before Look, and after. That's what they I want. They told me that me the, he had to use a plastic bag that was in my- trunk to hold it up and then when I inspect the front Who told he, you all that a worker that was there were you he present was for never that? there no I wasn't I wasn't present for that did and then they told to me they was gonna did a worker tell you about something falling off uh yes he mentioned that when he was driving the car the the rear bumper my honor the bump the car had a severe hit at the back and somebody fixed it before and then had your car been hit from the back no uh, if ever because I'm well, prior to me I Oh, Prior to me. I'm sorry. When, was your, I'm going to ask you one more time. Was your car hit from the back? Yes, but it was probably oh. when, I put, when I purchased the car, right, it was in a... Yes, so the car had a f severe hit, and it never fixed the car back properly. So 
it just the bumper was just sitting there and by driving the highway that by the way that's the bumper she asked me to give her a coat on okay and she why said are she didn't you have suing for the brake job back i still didn't get an answer from you i just it was just more so out of the trauma Anger. now i have to refix my bumper but i did agree to the 350 i did oh. Well, was it 350 or was it more than 350? It was, was it 350 or 390? 380, three, three they, they mentioned to her, but when I ordered the parts, it added up to like 390, like $10 in what difference. What did you charge her for the brake job? I charge her 250 if, and the link, everything yeah, between all right. 90. If 380 is what they said to her, tough. That's what it is. So now, if she ended up paying 700, right? Minus 380, then it's 320 that she paid that she didn't want to pay. Right, that's Correct? for the inspection. All right. I find that you have insufficient proof that you um, obtained her approval for the charge. It was double the charge she expected to pay. It, I don't um, believe that that's appropriate. The law requires that you have her permission before doing any other work. You can't just spring it on a customer. So I'm going to order you to return the $320 extra. And I am not going to order you to pay her any money on the bumper and emblem repairs. If this car had been hit before and there were issues before, um, then there were issues before. Why did you, out of coincidence, have a picture in your phone of the very front of your car? No, people don't go around taking pictures of the front of their car. There must have been a have, problem you were documenting. I have pictures of my back of my car. I have pictures inside of my car. Yeah. That's, there's something about that that's but unsettling to me. He's I find in your favor the amount of $320. That's my verdict. So I got my money back. So of the $720, $700 yeah. the plaintiff uh, paid, she's going to get $320 back. Right. From you. Yes. You understand well, that? She, yeah. Paperwork would have helped you here if you had had paperwork. You yes. Know? I heard a letter know from the beginning, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. But at least she got her car inspected for free. So that's fine. That's, yeah, that's you know that's, part of life. That's your fault. Okay. Yes, good yes. enough. Part of life. Thank All right. You. Thank you very much. You. All right. Well, look, he did, he did do a lot of work, apparently, trying to fix your car. So yeah, you're getting no some evidence. money back. You Okay. I'm not satisfied. He said that he, um, my bumper drove, um, fell off. However, I've drove my car for a year straight and has never just fell off on a highway. Okay. Anyway, that's what the judge decided. That's All right. right. That's what you get. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. You must sign some documents. Okay. Um, just one little trick here. Um, car repair shops tend to be licensed in most states. And if you find the licensing agency, sometimes if you complain to them, they can help resolve something short of having to file a lawsuit.